The real threat to our security has got nothing to do with China or any other military enemy. The real threat to our security is the climate crisis to which all waging war and preparing war contribute hugely and which absolutely prevent the international cooperation that must take place if we're going to cope with that crisis. Do we have to agree to another US red war? No. No, we don't. What do we do to stop this slide into another war? There's something like 400,000 400, houses needed and yet the uh, Commonwealth Government is suggesting that they are going to raise $10 billion for 30,000 houses and yet they can find $200 billion for these submarines. It's unprecedented for a non-nuclear um, armed nation to apply nuclear subs, they're in effect nuclear weapons. And the, um, the other worry is that the US and the UK nuclear um, subs use highly enriched uranium. It's about 97% in each sub, and so that's nuclear weapons grade. That the cost of the submarines and the militarisation that's going on to repair for a war with China is money that has to be spent instead on affordable housing Bringing our hospitals up to scratch, I think AMA said that 20, mil, 20 billion is required to bring our hospitals up to scratch. That's only the price of one submarine. The AUKUS coalition have uh, tried to initiate a broader grouping. I'm looking at, at, at launching a big protest against the Quad meeting, which will likely happen here in May. And essentially, it's been a, you know, a local, a regional coalition for war about how they, how they can launch war against China. So I think it's really important uh, if we can get you know, broader laser people involved and have a really big protest in May. Um, in particular, you know, I think it'd be great to get all the local peace groups, all the different climate groups together to say, hey, let's fund renewable energy and deal with the climate crisis. No nuclear subs. No nuclear subs.